All right, what's going on guys? It is Caleb here and uh, we are on the water today, man. Beautiful morning, not a barely any clouds in the sky. We got a nice breeze and it's actually kind of cool. It's about, right now we're sitting at 10 a.m. and it's about, I don't know, maybe 76 degrees. So kind of cool. And uh, today what we're gonna be doing guys, um, we're gonna be doing some sheep's head and uh, just bridge fishing in general. Uh, whenever we're fishing these bridges, we can catch a lot of different species like redfish, black drum, sheep's head, and uh, any type of bycatch. But called the bait shop this morning, they did not have any fiddler crabs, so we had to catch our own. But you guys see right here, we actually got a decent amount of fiddler crabs. So that is actually, really good news i was uh for a split second i thought i might just have to fish for redfish and trout but uh found a good little area to uh, find some crabs and that's what we did so got some fiddler crabs went ahead and just rigged up the pole got the bull bay stealth sniper right here we're going to be using that starting off and uh that's what we're going to be doing today guys so uh hope you guys do enjoy the youtube video if y'all are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you guys do enjoy the YouTube video, be sure to leave a like as well and uh, feel free to comment. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's go ahead and head on out there, guys. All right, we're good to go, folks. We are good to go. We got the ship all packed up. Now we just need to go out there and hit the bridge and catch some fish, man. Let's do it. If y'all own a Hobie kayak, whenever it's shallow, you guys just do this makes it to where your fins don't open up all the way and you can navigate in this shallow water those waterland shades super super good quality heading out to the bridge definitely a little bit breezy out here it's probably about a, a steady 10 mile per hour 11 mile per hour north wind right now it's supposed to be dying down as the day goes on but I'm not sure, man. That, that wind forecast has been wrong several times. So at this point, I'm not really expecting it to calm down, but it's not too bad, but definitely a little bit breezy out here. All right, guys, that right there is how you hook a fiddler crab. Come through the legs, right through the um, stomach area. We'll grab another one. Just like that. And that way we got two crabs on. And that should do the trick. There we go. That's a fish. Come on, man. All right, that's a fish. I think it's a sheep's head, man. God, I'm playing them super loose right now, guys, because he's uh, he is way up in that structure. I think he's out now. There we go. He's out. He's out. He's out. I think it's a sheep's head or a redfish. Or it could be a black drum. This is a good fish, guys. Whatever it is. Oh, nice sheeps. Nice sheep's head, guys. There we go, baby. There we go. There we go. All right. That is what I'm talking about, man. About time for a good sheep boy. This guy is digging, man. Good fish. Come on, boy. I'm playing them super loose, uh, really loose, just because these sheep heads sometimes dive just like that. And if he gets in that structure, if you're if your drag is set super tight, man, you're just gonna break off instantly. What a hook set too, right in the corner of the mouth, man. Ah, come on. Ah. 
Come on, dude. There we go. Come on. All right. Here we go. Nice. Y'all check out that beautiful sheep's head, man. <laughs> First one of the year, baby. Oh, man. He, he almost had me. He almost had me. Uh, what I've learned is that if they run for that structure, guys, y'all have to uh, have your drag super loose. I know that seems uh, counterintuitive, but if you have your drag too tight, if it touches a barnacle or an oyster, they will pop right off. No questions at all. Let's go ahead and get him off the hook, man. What a uh, beautiful fish right there. Right in the corner of the mouth, too. Y'all check that out. Right in the corner. Alright, the hook is out. Alright guys, that is the first fish of the day. One thing I'm pretty positive about today, right now we got a low tide, so I have a feeling these fish are, are going to be a little bit further out, but solid sheep said, man, that's a really good sheep said, probably a good 18 inches. Um, beautiful fish though. We're not going to keep him, we're definitely going to let him go, but awesome fight right there. Let's see if we can't catch more, but good old convict man it feels so good to be catching these guys again actually let's go up here a little bit and release them back on the pylon all right here we go we're gonna go ahead and get a release Woo! i knew he would do that all right first fish of the day let's go ahead and uh, get another bait down that's a good sign man Whenever there's one, there's more. All right, guys, really quick, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Waterland Sunglasses. A pretty cool group of guys, man. I'm super stoked to be working with these guys. Uh, got some awesome sunglasses that are significantly cheaper than uh, the main brand sunglasses and just as good, if not better. Uh, so pretty much about $100 cheaper than any main good pair of sunglasses that you're gonna be able to buy anywhere else. So. Um, not only that, I do have a code if you guys are interested in going and picking some up, KM15, y'all can save 15% off on any type of sunglasses that are on the website. So uh, do me a favor, if y'all are interested in buying shades whatsoever, uh, not just for fishing, but just for outdoors in general, go down below, check out that link and uh, use that code, save 15% off. These are the Slaunches, one of my favorites right here. And uh, yeah, got all different types of styles and stuff. So uh, yeah, go and check them out. Waterland, I do appreciate y'all and tight lines. Mm, that's a bite. There we go, there's another one. That's a sheep. All right, there we go. Loosen up my drag a little bit too, because these sheep said they have weird head shakes and if you don't play them right, Oh, look at that sheep's head, guys. That's a world record right there, man. Absolute Mogan sheep's head. Y'all check that out. <laughs> All right. Well, definitely not the targeted species. Yeah, never bring these things inside of your kayak, too. I kind of um, made a mistake. I lifted him over my kayak. If these things fall in your kayak, that is just, uh, it's not good, man. They'll start going crazy and i've seen some videos of some guys who have put these things in their kayaks and gotten spiked all right he is off the hook not the targeted species guys but still fun to catch i thought i had a sheep set for a second <laughs> just a stupid uh Saltwater hardhead catfish. All right, guys, that's going to be the YouTube video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below if y'all want to see more bridge fishing YouTube videos. Um, bridge fishing right now, it's just now starting to, to reach that really good time of year to come out here and uh, catch redfish, black drum, sheep's head. Still a little bit early. That water temp is still really warm. So within the next month, it'll be on fire. But that's going to be it. Like I said, all in all, great day. Hope you guys did enjoy the quick YouTube video. If y'all did enjoy the YouTube video, 
do me a favor guys shoot me a thumbs up it greatly helps out the youtube channel as well as subscribe and uh, until next time tight lines instead of an atom guys